All right, guys, even here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Kai Green and him receiving an invitation from IFBB Pro League to compete at Mr. Olympia 2019. So basically 2014 was the last year when Kai competed. That was the year when he and Phil Heath had that clash and almost a fist fight on the stage. And that was probably Phil's worst year, one of the worst years. I mean, when he actually won Mr. Olympia. And Kai probably thought that he deserved to win this one. But he didn't. He didn't win it. And uh, I think he was really, really upset after that year. So in 2015, he decided to skip, to not compete at the Mr. Olympia, even though he was qualified being the second place finisher or the runner-up in the previous year. So in 2015, he did not compete, but he made that video in which he was telling us about how he got screwed by the IBB, I guess, and he was actually crying. And I'm saying I guess because he's always talking in puzzles, you cannot basically understand anything that he's saying. He's just talking stuff that doesn't really make sense often. So I have no idea what he really meant by it. But, you know, you could get the idea that he was telling that he was screwed by the IVB. And uh, eventually it turned out that the only thing that happened was him not signing the contract. So I guess he believed that they screw him over. But in my opinion, he did not deserve to win that year, although he was close, but not close enough. And uh, 2015, though, so he did not compete that year at Mr. Olympia, but in 2016, he did attend Arnold Classic Ohio, which he won against Sandra McMillan. And he also competed in a couple of more Arnold Classics uh, outside the USA. So he qualified for Mr. Olympia 2017 which he again didn't attend. Then he had a break from competing, maybe even retired for all we know. And 2018, I'm not 100% sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that he got an invitation for that year's, or should I say last year's Mr. Olympia as well. And he did not attend again, so he decided to skip that one as well. Now we came to the 2019 and he received another invitation. Will he compete this year? That's the big question. Anybody can just speculate about it. We can just hope that he does do it. But I don't think that he will do it, actually. Kai Green was much better bodybuilder than any other guys that are in the top right now. Except Phil Heath. When Phil Heath is on, he is better than Kai. But Phil Heath is out of his game. He is not the king anymore. He lost his title and his belly is completely ruined. Kai's belly, for the last time we saw him, wasn't that much of a mess as Phil's is. So, if Kai comes in the shape that he brought two years ago, he can beat anybody, including Phil Heath, and he can become the next Mr. Olympia. So, that's thinking logically. That's just objectively speaking, because he's one of the greatest bodybuilders ever. I mean, one of the top five, probably, if you say... The best one is Ronnie Coleman, then you say Jake Cutler or Phil Heath, and I guess one of the best ones would be Kai Green. Maybe even fourth in the world, in the history of the world. I mean, my personal favorite is Dorian Yates. I love Kevin Leveroni, I love Lex Wheeler, I love these 90s guys, but they are not that caliber as they are, you know, from 2000s, from 1998, should I say, from Ronnie Coleman era. So, I say Kai Green is probably fourth best bodybuilder in the history of the world, objectively speaking. And right now, he's actually doing good. He's looking great. I mean, we saw him uh, flexing and posing in the gyms, and he looks amazing. He looks great. And I think that he could win Mr. Olympia very easily, if he can repeat the conditioning and pretty much the overall package that he brought in, let's say, 2016. I think that's the last year when he competed, which was basically two and a half years ago or so. I'm not sure which date he competed last, but something like that. So two, two or three years. That's not too far away. I mean, yeah, he's an older guy today, but he's not that much older. And I'm pretty sure that he can pull it off because he never stopped training and he looks great. I mean, judging by the gym photos that he posted a couple of times during these past years. But that's just logically speaking. I mean, he's not a very logical person. You can listen to his interviews. You can listen to him talking 
stuff that he says doesn't really make much sense. So I don't know what the hell is he thinking, but I'm thinking that he just got into movies and he wants to become a Hollywood actor or something like that. And I don't really think that he will go back to IBB because he probably hates those guys. And also Arnold Schwarzenegger trolled him, you know, quite a bit when he won Arnold Classic. So I don't think that he will be coming back to IBB and competing for them because that would be huge promotion for IBB. That would be so exciting for bodybuilding. We would probably have New King if he did it. And he should do it. In my opinion, he should do it. He should put all these little uh, misunderstandings and troubles that he had with IBB aside and come and actually get the title because he can do it easily. But probably he will not do it because that's the opposite of the logical thing that he should do. That's why I think he will not do it. And what do you guys think? Do you think he will do it? Do you think he will come back and compete at the Mr. Olympia now? I don't think so. But whatever you think, tell me in the comment section below and tell me what do you think about Kai Green as a bodybuilder. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.